Sometimes you may want to use a Python function in MATLAB. So we're going to run through a demonstration of how to do that. The very first thing that you'll want to do is just start the Anaconda prompt. You'll get this when you install the package Anaconda with the associated Spider and Jupyter Notebook. So just go to Anaconda and uh, search for Anaconda download. And then once you install it, you'll have an Anaconda prompt. And then from here, you want to start MATLAB. So you want to start it from the uh, MATLAB from the Anaconda prompt so you get all the paths for Python. This is probably the easiest, uh, easiest way to do it. And then what you'll need to do is just change your directory to the one where you have uh, you want to be able to write your, Pyth your uh, MATLAB script that's going to be able to call Python. So here I have a numpy test.m and we'll start with the numpy package. So if you just come to uh, the numpy, create a new file uh, such as .m and then we're just going to do a clear all and then we'll declare a new x variable with the py dot and then we'll use numpy and then in this case we'll have lin space and we'll go from 0 to 10 with 101 time points. Then we'll have uh, numpy.sign, and we'll do the uh, sign of that x, those x values between 0 and 10. And we'll also create a cosine as well, which is going to be equal to z. And then let's go ahead and just translate it back out of numpy, back into Python. And we'll need to do that by wrapping it. Um, we'll first of all create a list, so we can convert it back to a Python list from a numpy array. And then we will uh, convert it to a cell. Um, and then back to using the cell fun uh, function with uh, double, where we're going to convert these values as numbers uh, back to xm. And then we'll do the same thing for ym and the same thing for zm as well. And let's just go ahead and plot this. And so we'll plot xm versus ym, and then also xm versus zm and then we'll add a legend. Okay, so if we just open this up in in MATLAB, okay, and then we run it, we'll see that we can use NumPy to uh, within MATLAB to be able to generate some results. So you can see it generated this figure, we plotted it with MATLAB, and it was using NumPy to calculate the sine and the cosine. Let's go on to some a uh, little bit more uh, involved examples here. And uh, what I'll do here is I'll just open up the Jupyter Notebook. And we're going to use the Gecko package in this case. So first thing we'll need to do is just make sure Gecko package is installed. And I'll just create, uh, you know, this just needs to be done once. And uh, let me just go ahead and create a new Python 3 notebook. And then I'll install Gecko. Just make sure it's installed. I already have it installed on my computer, but we'll do pip install Gecko. Okay, just like this. And if you are not on an administrative account, then you may need to do dash dash user, um, and it'll install it locally. Okay, so when I run this cell, then it's going to uh, install Gecko from the command line. I'm using the exclamation mark to install it uh, from the command line and you can see that it says it's already satisfied. Okay, so Gecko's already installed. So now we're going to use that in Python or is that Python code in MATLAB and so let's go ahead and just write our first test uh, Gecko script. This one's going to solve a series of linear equations. So we're going to start MATLAB from the Anaconda prompt, just as we showed before. We'll go ahead and close all, clear all, and then uh, solve some linear equations here. We'll initialize our model. We're going to call the Gecko uh, model, first of all. And then we'll initialize some variables. We have our variable x and our variable y. And then we'll define some equations. Uh, here's our first equation that we're just going to put in as a function of x and y. Don't forget the double equal sign there. And then also another linear equation. And then we'll solve it. Okay, so this is what's required to solve a series of equations with Gecko, which is a Python package in MATLAB. 
and we'll extract some values, show the results. We'll show X, and then we'll just put this um, in here to display these two together. And we'll just have to display the uh, first value that came back from X. It returns it as a list. Okay, and then we'll also do the same for Y. So let's go ahead and just run this in MATLAB and test it. So here is test uh, gecko one. And it's gonna solve these two sets of linear equations. And there you can see the values for X and Y. But let's do something a little bit more complicated now with gecko. We're gonna solve some differential equations in the gecko Python package in MATLAB. Okay, we'll go ahead and start um, just by declaring our model, creating this new M object. And we'll have a new argument here, which will say remote equals false, so we don't use an internet connection to solve this. It's just gonna solve it locally to our computer. And then we're gonna create our time vector. And we're gonna use NumPy, in this case again, with lin space between zero and 20 with 100 time points. And then we'll have our k equals 10. We'll have our variable y, which is going to have an initial condition of 5. And then we'll create a new time parameter as well. We'll have time in our equation as well. Okay, here's our differential equation where the y dot dt, open and close parentheses, that's uh, dy dt. And there you can see the differential equation, k times dy dt equals minus t times y. Okay, we're going to use i mode 4. There's our option that converts it to a dynamic simulation, and then we'll solve it. Okay, we'll need to retrieve the values. They're just a little bit more complicated here. And we'll need to convert it to a list for this um, NumPy array. And just like we did in the last example, we're gonna convert that, uh, you know, this uh, cell phone, and then uh, at double, comma, cell, and then we'll convert uh, the NumPy back to a list, which then will convert it to a cell um, array. And we'll also have y, which is returned from our solution from Gecko. Now this one is a list already. Okay, so we're just going to, um, okay, so it, we're just gonna, uh, instead of two lists, we don't need to go back to a list, and then we'll plot these two. Add a little bit of uh, labeling to our plot, and then we're ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and run this one again. Okay, and it's going to solve this uh, differential equation. You can see that it's solved with the solver IPopt, and it just took a fraction of a, of a second in order to solve this uh, differential equation. Okay, so that concludes uh, this tutorial on calling some of the scientific packages in Python. Uh, you know, be able to use those within MATLAB. So you can uh, call and convert them. The one thing that's just a little bit, um, you know, that's just a little bit confusing about this is just getting the values back into a form that you can use other MATLAB functions with them, like plot or other things. Uh, so that's, I think the, the biggest difficulty is just getting values like arrays or matrices back into MATLAB.